today. I'm in the middle of the curly curl method, but I completely ignored it today and my hair is doing whatever it wants. A lot of you guys voted that you wanted to see my barefoot shoe collection next, and it is quite a collection. Normally I have about four pairs of shoes. That would be a sandal for walking in the river, like more of an athletic sandal, um, a dressier sandal for my dresses, a pair of sneakers, and a pair of boots. And that is usually my entire shoe collections. Let's talk about why I wear barefoot shoes. I wear them because they are the most fashionable shoe on the market. No, probably not. Most people actually find them to be pretty ugly in comparison to conventional shoes. And it is a transition. You, you transition from this narrow shoe to a wide toe box shoe and it is definitely a transition. There's a lot of things to look for in a barefoot shoe. Um, some of that includes zero drop, a wide toe box, flexibility. My first pair of barefoot shoes was a Soft Star Primal Mary Jane. If you're familiar with those, I'll show you here soon. But if you're familiar with those, they are very, very wide. They're a bean shape. So it was, it was interesting going from a conventional narrow toe box to a wide toe box shoe. Something else I really love about barefoot shoes is how flexible they are. It gives your foot the full mobility that it needs to function. So let's go ahead and start with my collection. We'll start with sandals. These are my earth runners. They're lifestyle circadian and they are pretty flexible. Um, earth runners comes in a thinner style and they also come in a thicker style. I went right in the middle. I did go with the lifestyle. They, they also have an adventure strap. I went with the lifestyle strap because I'm not used to wearing straps in between my toes and I was a little afraid that the adventure strap was gonna be too thick between my toes. I love these. I will wear these out. These are probably my favorite sandals. These are my zero sandals. Um, these were one of my first barefoot shoes. They're very, very flexible. The material I believe is just essentially some kind of plastic and I don't love that, but I like the way they look on my feet. They're a great sandal for just trudging in the water. Next up is sneakers. So this is my only pair of sneakers. Um, th these are Wildling. Wildlings are known to be very flexible shoes. As you can see, they're, they're just very, very flexible shoes. These ones are made of linen, so it's just a beige linen and they're just, so comfortable. When I know that I'm going to do a lot of walking, these are the shoes I go for. Next up is a Mary Jane style shoe. Now I have three of these. Um, I wear them with jeans. I wear them with dresses. This is kind of like a go-to shoe for me. I pretty much can wear them with everything, every outfit that I could put together. So I have two pairs of the Soft Star Primal Mary Janes. One is an aged acorn and the other is in black. These are my first barefoot shoe. They're very flexible. Uh, the leather, it kind of forms to your feet. They're very comfortable. They are a bean shape. So transitioning from a conventional shoe to this shoe being one of the more wide models on the market, it was interesting. It was definitely, I looked down and I thought I had clown feet for a good maybe week and a half until I finally adjusted to having these wider shoes. And then I was actually surprised when I got more, more barefoot shoes that they all weren't this wide. I do really, really love these shoes. I, I wear these all the time. I've definitely got my money's worth out of these. And lastly, I have the Explorer Sandal. This is the Explorer Sandal by Everly Meadow. Everly Meadow is a fun brand. Crystal, if you're watching this, hi. Crystal made a lot of changes to her company to be more accommodating to the barefoot market. And even before that, she had almost a perfect barefoot shoe. The, uh, the sole is very flexible. Someone described this sole on Instagram as floppy. And that is the perfect way to describe it. It's floppy. Like here's my soft stars. They, they just don't flop like this. This is floppy. <laughs> I love how floppy they are. Anyways, um, so the sole is very floppy. This is a limited edition leather. So this was the, the saddle weave 
and I love this. It's my favorite. But normally her leather is um, is more of a smooth leather and it is very, very supple. So it forms right to your feet. And she did make changes. So recently she added a inside lining to the heel part, to the strap, and to the toe part. And I assume that that makes the leather a little bit less supple, but I do think that they would still be supple because that's just the nature of her leather. Next up, we'll talk about boots, but I have a lot of boots, so let me move this stuff out of the way. Okay, boots. I think I'm gonna do this in a way that shows you kind of like a fall boot leading into a winter boot. So I have these Mucky Shoes. Mucky Shoes is a really fun company. They make children's shoes too, and they're very colorful. Um, they're very minimal. So even for a boot, you can see how flexible that is. These are Mucky Shoes Chelsea in a caramel color. I also have these in black. My feet are nine inches long, three and a half inches wide. So I'm normally a size 37, uh, depending on brand that can vary. In Mookie shoes, these are 38s because they, they run small to begin with. And these ones, because they do have a thicker wool lining, I went with a 39. These are my Lens Boulder boots. Now I have these and my husband has the new Summit boot. Um, these are not super, super flexible. The Summit boot is not zero drop. I think it has a one millimeter drop, um, but these are the Boulder boot. I really like these. I like to wear these with my dresses. I think they look super cute with jeans um, with a cute little sock coming up the top. Lens is great for someone who's just starting their barefoot journey and they also just released a new Chelsea boot, which looks really cute. These are my Wildling shoes. These are the, the U style. They're green and a like deep amber yellow. Again, they're very, very flexible. Wildlings are always flexible. These are the other ones that I have that again, I showed you before are very flexible. Um, these are wool lines. So they have pretty much the whole shoe is wool. Even I, I have an insole in here and it's a wool insole. These are Belenka. So these are the Belenka Polaris. They are lined on the inside, very, very warm. They're a lower boot, so I won't be able to really wear them too much if we have fresh snow. Um, if I'm walking on top of the snow, I think it would be okay. Um, but they're not super, super flexible, but they are. They're definitely more flexible than my lens. Uh, but they're not like super, super flexible. They are beautiful, kind of like a chocolatey brown color. I really, really like these. I'm excited for more snow so I can finally test these out. This, these are Fiskard. Now this company is not actually a barefoot brand, but they do sell some barefoot styles. So the Fiskard Thermal Rain Boot, and they have a wool lining throughout the entire boot. These are for our winters and the height of snow that we get. These are perfect. I, I These are my go-to once it's in the winter, this is probably what's on my foot. And last but not least, these are the Soft Star Zen Mocks. So these are moccasins and Soft Star is fairly flexible here. These are a wool shoe. They're a wool, they're a wool slipper. So this is actually a decent pad for a slipper. I could probably go outside and get the mail in these. Um, I don't, I just wear these inside. Um, they have this little Velcro thing, but I don't, I don't even open that. I just slide my foot right into these. So that's it. That's my barefoot shoe collection. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions. Um, and I'll leave all my sizes and all the brands and all the models that I have. I'll leave everything down below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe because I've got more coming to the channel. Oh, and check me out on Instagram. I am from soil to sawdust on Instagram. And every week I do a little poll and let you guys pick what I'm going to share next. So let me know what you want to see and let me know if you have any questions. See you guys soon.